वेलकम बैक टू बैटरी स्कूल आई एम योर फ्रेंड एंड होस्ट इंजीनियर गौरव दीप शर्मा वेलकम यू ऑल एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल टूडेज वीडियो टॉपिक इज क्योरिंग इफ यू थिंक अबाउट द क्योरिंग वी हैव सम बेसिक क्वेश्चन लाइक वॉट इज क्योरिंग इन लाइट एसिड बैटरी इंडस्ट्री एंड वाई वी नीड दिस वॉट इज द बेस्ट वे टू conduct this process in lead acid battery so don't you worry friend we have a perfect person who explain all the things about curing is mr arumay chatterjee from calcutta he is a known consultant in lead acid battery industry he serve in excite industry national as well as international he established many plant in india and international so please welcome mr arumay chatterjee to explain all the things about curing and drying thank you gorup ji the curing is a basically one process it cures the pl paste plate so the process of paste preparation particles of the 3 bs and 4 bs are formed in the paste layer however the particles of the paste are spread over the grid and tightly bound neither to each other also not to the grid these particles are surrounded by liquid films and hydrated cells exhibiting a separated microstructure the curing procedure will make these particles interconnected to form a continuous strong skeleton that is tightly bound to the grid actually what happens in the curing process thank you again gaurav ji in curing process basically the skeleton is built up because if you see the paste paste is a very soft material and it doesn't have any own structure so in the process the paste need to be give some rigid structure so during the skeleton build up the small crystal in the paste dissolve and big ones grows in size at the same time the 3 bs or 4 bs crystal are interconnected into a strong skeleton with the evaporation of water contained in the thin liquid film between the particle please note that if this skeleton is built from 3 bs crystal it branches are normally thin because its crystal size is small if the skeleton is built from 4 bs crystal some thick branches can be found and it is strong it has stronger mechanical strength but having very lesser small lesser surface area than the 3 bs crystal then the next function of the curing process is the oxidation of the free lead and grid lead the lead in the grid alloy is oxidized forming a corrosion layer on the grid rich surface which is tightly bound to the paste skeleton the free lead in the paste is here i would like to explain little bit more the curing process is normally conducted at high temperature and humidity for a period of 24 hours during which the corrosion layer occurs between the grid surface and its contacted positive active material interface the corrosion process generally the corrosion process is the oxidation of the lead grid where o2 is from the humidified air this formed corrosion layer can provide a strong connection between the positive active material and the grid however the curing conditions have a strong effect on the tightness and contact so after curing basically there is a there are two layer on the grid one is the corrosion layer that is the oxidized form of the lead grid and then the paste layer if the curing is carried out at high temperature a much thicker corrosion layer can be formed 
which could provide a good contact between the grid and the positive active material. Therefore, high temperature has a beneficial effect on plate curing. Regarding the effect of humidity on the curing process, an optimized humidity content is needed. But high temperature uh, curing process, it depends upon the application of the battery. If it is a deep discharge battery, then high temperature curing process of the plate is required. And if it is a SLI battery, then uh, the temperature uh, in between the 45 degree to 50 degree, that is the temperature range. Thank you, Gauruji. Again, thank you. Uh, if you study by microscope and XRD, we can see the crystal structure of the Kyoto plate. The Kyoto plate is a crystal structure. There is a several crystals are there, bigger and smaller crystal, and it is interconnected. So, Kyoto after curing the plate, there is a uh, stabilized and structured. Uh, crystal formation and interconnection of the crystal and coarser layer, which gives the plate a good bonding in between paste itself and also between the grid and the paste. So, curing process is one of the vital process to give the good quality plate. After curing, the next process is the drying process. This is also important part, the drying process. Basically, two processes are used in the drying of the cured plate that determine the adhesive and cohesive strength during the curing. First is the, during the first stage of drying, the capillary water can be evaporated from the paste. Capillary water basically resides in between the crystal, there is a capillary gap, there the water resides and then form the thin liquid layer between the particles, leading to a porous mass. So, porosity forms during the drying. During the second stage of drying, the wedge water can be evaporated from the paste and re resulting in welding of the particle agglomerates. So, the residue water or the voyage water that evaporates from the paste and in between paste crystal, there is a welding type bonding. So, which makes the porous mass harder and stronger. So I hope you understand all the things about curing and drying. If you have any query, so please comment on this video and I will give you answer from Arumet Chatterjee. Thank you very much. Please subscribe this channel and share the video. Thank you very much.